Hello and welcome to Ula Tea Leaf Readings. My name is Lenore and tonight I'm going to be reading your tea leaves. This is a horoscope for Scorpio. If Scorpio is your solar lunar ascendant slash rising sign, then this is a message for you. Okay, let's get started. these tea leaves have to say and our card that I pulled for tonight is the wheel of fortune so this is a card that has a lot to do with the ebb and flow of life the give and take the change that we cannot control <laughs> but also having to make some decisions often you know, difficult decisions. Um, and then, you know, sometimes it's taken out of our hands. Anyhow, and the decision is made for us. So let's see, what do we have going on here tonight? So I want to start with this most central formation here. And this one to me looks like a person who's kind of down on their hands and knees. They look like they're in some kind of cave. And what this makes me think of is visiting some kind of votive cave or um, grotto, some kind of uh, religious uh, site or... Um, Kind of a consecrated ground of some sort. It could be a natural shrine. Um, and these are not uncommon in a variety, probably every religion, really. Um, but what comes to mind is uh, there are in, um, in Mexico, in South America, there are a lot of um, kind of the they're Catholic but they're like folk Catholic in that they incorporate um, parts of the indigenous religions and religions that were brought in by different diasporas and um, colonizers occupiers and so on so it's kind of um, a very composite religion uh, well religion but practices that are kind of taken from different places which in my opinion are the most beautiful um, because they have their own kinds of uh, you know their own flavor so to speak um, so anyhow I think that what this really says to me is that you are in a quieter place this this week this cycle okay you are contemplating um something right it seems to be something that is maybe more on your spiritual side um something within something about your well-being um you know i won't cast any dispersions on anybody but i will say for myself uh sometimes i find myself a particularly um more devoted and praying more often when something has gone wrong or um something uh is stressing me out i find myself definitely more devoted to my spiritual practices and so I wonder, has something kind of gotten in your mind? I want to look a little bit more here. And here comes Pudgy. Okay, so I have two figures that I want to look at, but um, this one looks like a person with their arms stretched to the sky. And here it almost looks like a little cloud with some kind of crow or raven up on top. 
okay? And I have heard from a lot of people, and this is including myself, that the crow or the raven is always a beloved and welcomed symbol. Some people would say uh, this maybe is a sign of death. This is a sign of mourning. Uh, we think of um, the Edgar Allan Poe poem, Death Coming to Your Door at Night. Also, this is where my namesake is from, Lenore. <laughs> if you didn't know that already. Um, so, anyways, I what, for me though, when I see a raven or a crow, I know that my mother, my father, especially my father, is there with me. And um, there have been many times when I have been out traveling the country in my vehicle, <laughs> especially when I was young. I like to go on road trips quite a bit, drive across the country, and uh, I would be out in the middle of, you know, uh, Wyoming or maybe, um, you know, Missouri or something, and uh, I would be feeling a little bit lonely. These are empty, kind of beautiful, expansive landscapes, but there can be a touch of loneliness. But when I would see a raven, I would know that I am being held, I am on the right path, and I will be safe. So, I feel like there is kind of this feeling of reaching out to the sky, to the gods, to the divine, wanting to be held, wanting to be safe, wanting to know that you are cared for, and you are, and you are. And this is, you know, if you didn't know that already, uh, this is the universe giving you a more clear, uh, a more clear message that, hey, you are, and we're listening, we're here. You're not alone. You're not alone. We're all in this together. And, uh, you know, maybe <laughs> with the little cloud, I think that also um, this is uh, kind of a symbol of you know, daydreaming, but also transient emotions, things kind of coming into our mind and we let them go as a cloud does blow across the landscape um, the sky, <laughs> the skyscape. And, um, and so I think both of these things are true. We can kind of visualize, um, you know, letting these feelings come and pass, not attaching ourselves to them, letting them be what they are and knowing that, you know, we're okay. It's okay. Everything is going to be the way it should be. Most things are out of our control. We'll do our best to work on our reactions. And when we feel like we need a little extra support, we will ask for it. Okay. And then we have right here, uh, <laughs> one of my favorites as well, a butterfly. The, um, the symbol of you know, transformation, metamorphosis. And this, I think, really um, is just ties into this concept of all of the work that you have been doing. You have been very brave these last months, standing up to, um, you know, unpleasant memories, how people have made you feel in the past trying to begin to process some of that stuff and figuring out how are you going to go forward? How are you going to envision the life that you want and make it happen? You know, and I think you've been doing a lot of that. So I, for one, am proud of you. And it seems that the universe is also proud of you giving these beautiful symbols, just reaffirming you're, you're working hard, you're working hard. And here comes the other cat. 
<laughs> one after another here. Okay, now we flip this over. We have another person with their arms to the sky. Isn't it kind of neat how that happens? Now, this one is here, and then we have this one over here. Okay, so, um, you know, there's, there's a lot going on here in the sky. Uh, we also have a person here who I didn't see at first, and they also seem to be looking towards the sky. Maybe not the arms raised so high up, but we also have this one, arms up, this one, arms up. <laughs> so we really um, have a lot of kind of devotion, these, um, these postures of devotion, awe, um, love, agape. We also have here the peacock without the feathers kind of spread, so not on display, but kind of sitting and thinking. This, the peacock to me is often... Um, you know, related to Juno, uh, the goddess, and who also is um, a fertility goddess, a middle maiden goddess, but um, a goddess of, which I, in my mind, relate to um, kind of the concept of Sophia, the divine feminine consciousness. And also what my channel is named after, Ula, who is um, kind of the uh, divine feminine consciousness in my own personal pantheon, uh, the intuitive nature of reading tea leaves, the uh, secrets and mysteries revealed. And so uh, I, as I see this, I think this is really, you have quite a desire to do that work within the mysteries, to keep, to keep revealing layer after layer, lifting those veils. And I feel that something that we have learned so deeply through these readings, and if you haven't seen your other um, Scorpio readings, go back and look at some of them. Um, they may still be very timely as these readings are really made to be activated when you watch them. They are not on any kind of, um, you know, uh, for certain weeks or months of the year or anything like that. Although I do talk about the time that we're in when they're being filmed because that energy is locked to the reading, but they are timeless. So... I feel that uh, we have learned quite a bit that love truly is the way for you and for most of us, right? The more that you have let go of things, the more that you have learned to kind of process, integrate, and uh, find a way to... You know, I'm not, I know that we don't, we may let go of things. We don't forget always, and that's okay. I don't think that we should always even forgive everything. Um, but, you know, cause, because that's kind of an emotional labor is for it to be your job to forgive. Uh, but I do know that whatever it is, if you process it, and you integrate it, you've learned from it. You've learned a valuable lesson. You have taken the knowledge of whatever has come to transpire and you transmute it into deeper wisdom so that you may apply it to your life in a practical and functional manner. Uh, you do not let those dark clouds rule you or rule your personality which can happen so often when we kind of um, tie ourselves to uh, the traumas and now i'm not making light of trauma believe me i am not but um we must find a way right and through love in whatever 
whatever that looks like for you. It does not, absolutely, I'm not talking about romantic love. Um, not even love of family necessarily, but just finding love in the subtle parts of life woven into the fabric of reality. Those moments that you maybe wake up early in the morning and this, it's blue, it's the blue hour and you drink your coffee and slowly the sun comes up and you're getting into that golden, that golden space and you can hear the birds singing and you know, people around the neighborhood are starting to wake up and everything's starting to bustle and there's just a little bit of happiness there, a little bit of peace. And that's where we find the love that really sustains us. Not everything has to be these huge overtures. They don't have to be intense. They don't have to be all consuming. But those little moments of ease. And so I think that there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of loving devotion here. And I think that the big thing with the wheel is that I don't know that there's a, there's any kind of real decision to make, but I do know that you should be easy with yourself, that you have time. There is no rush. Okay. Um, and you know, sometimes in these readings we get these cards and they say, oh, you know, you have to make, um, well, I was thinking of the hanged man. You have to make a decision. You have to, you know, um, sacrifice something of yourself maybe to move through or, oh, here's the tower. There's going to be a, some big event happening. Change. Well, that, you know, this isn't a tarot reading. These sometimes just give us an idea of maybe one little aspect. And so here I think the choice is, you know, what will you do with yourself? What will you do with yourself? What will you do with all of this arising love and wonder? And, uh, you know, I feel that there's just this real... A desire of to be in connection with something greater than you, right? Um, and I think that often we all have that. <laughs> I mean, that's why a lot of us begin on our spiritual paths because we we have the instinct, we have the desire to figure out: is there something more to all of this? Is there something? I am connected to? Is there that golden thread that kind of ties us to, you know, this, this greater cosmos, this, um, you know, this divine intelligence. And so we go about our path, right? <laughs> our spiritual work, our interior work. And, uh, you know, I think that that's where we're at. That's where we're at, Scorpio. Now, I think this is so cute. We have a nice little smiley face. I feel like really, oh, we're coming into a time of just kind of peace, contentment, and ease. Hold on to that. Not for your life. Not like desperately. But just hold on to those moments when you feel okay everything's okay that little that little uh beacon of dread in the back of your mind is hushed muted <laughs> and uh and that's a that's a very special and wonderful gift right so take advantage Okay, I want to thank you so much for allowing me to bring you these beautiful, beautiful messages. <laughs> beautiful because they come from a place beyond myself. I feel like I just kind of flow through me most of the time. Um, 
really i don't know it's an interest it's interesting how um sometimes i do my readings i can barely remember what they are because it just feels like i'm a conduit for them and so i hope that you know that these um resonate with you that they kind of um have some kind of little effect on you maybe makes your day a little bit easier um helps you contemplate things a little bit um you know that's really my only hope in life is just to um make people a little bit happier feel a little bit safer and to you know go about their business and life in their interior space and um, be able to grow and fortify themselves and if I can help influence that in some way um, you know my humble little uh, <laughs> my humble little light in this vast darkness um, that makes me internally eternally happy really so um if you would be so kind as to like the video it's helping us get in the algorithm and uh that's helping grow the channel all of these little engagements they they really do um i guess however that thing works that algorithm works it does help us get get more stuff um further out there and uh the big one i guess is sharing if you uh i don't know are so inclined to share the video um of course you don't have to but um other than that if you want to subscribe if you haven't already please do come join our little community here um leave some comments let me know how you're doing i read every single comment and um, I try to get back to them as quickly as I can. Sometimes it takes a day or two. Um, but, you know, life is busy. It's busy out here for us, isn't it? <laughs> so, anyways, I want to thank you, thank you, thank you, Scorpio. And we will talk again very soon.